Yeah. All right, so here we are in the vehicle, and anytime I'm in my car or get in my car, and I'm going to go someplace where I feel like I potentially might need to use my weapon, when I put on my seat belt, the seat belt goes basically underneath this part, the bottom strap of the seat belt. I place it up underneath my weapon like that. And depending on if I feel like I'm going to really, really need to get to my weapon fast, I'll leave it exposed like this and drive in the car, or I'll simply just take my shirt and go over it like this. So basically, and this is the same way as if I was just sitting in a chair, you know, if I need to get my weapon, my shirt goes up, I grab my purchase like this, weapon comes out. Now, mind you, if you're the driver of a car and you ever need to use your weapon, when you push this weapon out, your ejection port for your rounds is right here. If you come right here, and I'll tell you from experience, if you fire this weapon anywhere close to this door jam and the ejection port is close to the door jam, you're going to get um, a misfeed. It's going to start stall piping every single round. So if you ever need to fire in your vehicle, make sure you stay away from the window jam right here. You have to stay like this. You have to give the room air to breathe the shells out and spit the, uh, the brass back out. As soon as you do like this and try to bust off a round, it's going to keep stove piping, I promise you. So that's one thing to know. But uh, yeah, driving.